Hi, this screencast is going to help you figure out how to convert from one unit to the next using a process called dimensional analysis. Okay, so this is the first tutorial in a series of three that gives you all the details of how to do this whole process. Um, so we're breaking it down into smaller steps. All right, so what you need to do when you are trying to convert from one unit to another is you need to apply some conversion factors and you're not changing the overall value you're just changing what unit you're representing it in for instance if um, somebody wanted to pay you in nickels but you wanted to know how many dollars that was you're not getting any more money you're just changing uh, what unit it's re reported as so here's an example everyone complains how they should be paid for the work they do at school so let's figure out how much money you would make in a school year. What kind of facts would you need to know? So it's important to set up the problem and then understand what all you're given. Um, you would probably need to know how long your day is, how many days do you work, um, and how much would you get paid. So let's say that we're, um, your day is seven hours and let's say that you work 180 days and we're going to pay you minimum wage seven and a quarter an hour. Okay, so we're setting up our problem. So we're going to figure out how many dollars probably you would get for working your seven hour days for 180 days. Okay, so let's, what would your answer be? If you went back and you took your seven hours for 180 days of work times your 725 an hour, um, what's your answer? Well, if you did the math, you probably got $9,135, but how did you get that answer? So you multiplied all three answers. Here's what it should look like. If you take your 180 days times your seven hours a day times your 725 an hour, you get 9,135. So what we were doing here is we're taking our 180 days, which is our starting value, and we know that each day has seven hours. So days are here and day is here and you now converted to seven hours. So hours is here and now hours would go on the bottom so that we can cancel and we'll put our our dollars on the top and then we would get 9135 by taking 180 times 7 times 725. You will note that whatever unit you have here also goes on the bottom on the top on the bottom and that's just doing basic algebra canceling out the units so that we're left with dollars which is our answer dimensional analysis uses those conversion factors a conversion factor is a ratio derived from the equality between two different units that can be used to convert from one unit to the other for instance four quarters is one dollar and one dollar is four quarters we know that that value is essentially the same so if you're taking um, something divided by itself again that's one so all of the conversion factors are equal to one so four quarters over a dollar or one dollar over four quarters are the same thing or you could write it 0.25 dollar is one quarter or one quarter is 0.25 dollars they are all the same conversion factor why would you need different ones well it depends on which units have to go where okay so dimensional analysis is a math technique that allows you to use units to solve problems involving measurements so you're going to start with what you're looking for you're going to multiply by some things and your conversion factors and you're going to get an answer so if we were looking at this example of how many quarters are in twelve dollars we're looking for the number of quarters equals twelve dollars so twelve dollars and we're going to set it up times some conversion factors that we know we just had them on the last screen now we have to decide whether we're choosing quarters over dollars or dollar over quarter we're starting with dollars right here so by having dollars right here we're going to put dollar on the bottom and quarters on the top we would fill in our numbers that match the units so we decided to put dollar on the bottom and quarters on the top so we're going to put one with dollar and four with quarters now if we cancel this dollar and cancel this dollar we're left with quarters so we would take 12 times 4 is 48 and you get 48 quarters you can derive conversion factors if you know the relationship between the unit you have and the unit you want. You can do it from meters and decimeters. One meter is 10 decimeters. 0 0.1 meter is a decimeter or 10 decimeters in one meter. Okay, they're all the same. 
here are some that we have had this graphic before for the uh, prefixes. You have giga, mega, kilo. You have centi, milli, micro, nano, pico. You can figure up how many are equal to the base unit. So if you're doing centi, you have one meter is 100 centimeters. 10 to the 2 is 100. You have one kilometer is 10 to the 3 meters, so 1,000 meters. Okay, you can use that, that graphic to help you. All right, a sample problem. Here is your sample problem. It says express a mass of 5.712 grams in milligrams and then also again in kilograms. So two problems here. 5.712 grams into milligrams. So we're given 5.712 grams and we want to find both milligrams and kilograms. All right, so we need to know that one gram is a thousand milligrams and we're also going to need to know eventually the one for kilograms. So our possible conversions for this factor is 1,000 milligrams over 1 gram or 1 gram over 1,000 milligrams. All right. So we are going to use the first fraction because we're starting with grams and we're going to need to cancel our grams. So grams will be on the bottom. So we're going to set it up with 5.712 grams times a fraction grams go on the bottom and 1,000 milligrams go on the top and we just multiply. Okay, so 5.712 times 1,000 gets you 5,712 5, milligrams. Alright, the grams cancel, we're left with milligrams which is what we were asked to find. Alright, so if you're converting 5.712 grams into kilograms now, you're given 5.712 grams and we know that there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. So setting up the conversion factor, it can either be a thousand grams over one kilogram or one kilogram over a thousand grams. We are given 5.712 grams, so we are going to need to pick the conversion that has grams on the bottom. So we're going to pick this one. We now set it up 5.712 grams times that fraction and you get 0 0.005712 kilograms. If you look, you have grams to start and grams on the bottom, they cancel and you're left with kilograms. So it's all about making sure that you do conversions. Now, you can have you can have some strange units that are not metrics. Um, here's an example. Some insane workout fanatics want to run marathons. They have marathons listed at 26.2 miles and 35k races. Let's pick the shorter one because I am not running the longer one. Probably not going to run either one, but you know, let's just pick. So let's figure out. We're going to pick one of those numbers and then turn it into the other unit. Um, we need to know the number of kilometers equaling the number of miles. So 1 km, 1 kilometer, equals 0.625 miles. I'm going to pick one of them, for instance 35 kilometers times a fraction. I need to have my km on the bottom and my mile on the top and I would take 35 times 0.625 to get 21.9 miles. Or if I pick the 26.2 miles and divided by the miles times the kilometers and I'd get 41.9 km. So let's compare apples to apples. We have in this first one, we have 21.9 miles and 26.2 miles. So which is a longer race? The 26.2 mile marathon is longer than the 35 kilometer race. You can also note down here that when you convert the 26.2 miles into kilometers, it ends up being 41.9 kilometers, which is longer than the 35. So if you're given the choice of the two and you want the shorter race, pick the 35k race. Don't go with the 26.2 marathon. Okay. All right. So I do have another link if you have access to this. Um, the original PowerPoint as the video, or I'm sorry, the PowerPoint as notes for you linked up. You can view the, the link to the video while um, someone shows you how to break the steps down for a conversion. Make sure you check it out. Make sure that you write down your work, show it, cancel things out as you need to. It'll help you in the long run.